An MSUB professor and his students digging deeper into the history of Billings by trying to analyze Boot Hill Cemetery. YouTube's Zoe Zandora shows us why. In memory of those who blazed the trail and showed us our west, in boots and spurs they rest. The words engraved on an obelisk at the top of Boot Hill Cemetery in Billings. Pink stakes representing grave sites of possibly 150 people. Or that's what Professor Thomas Rust, a history teacher at MSUB, and his five students have gathered through research with the goal to identify as many unmarked graves as possible. Uh, historical archaeology in the Americas um, that Dr. Rust was putting on and so, you know, it just kind of was just something that all of us wanted to do. It's a little bit more than writing papers and, and sitting in the classroom and doing a lot of research. Uh, there were markers that were put up here, but we didn't have much faith in what the uh, the accuracy of, of some of those markers, and we figured there was a number that were unmarked just based on our pedestrian survey as we walked through the cemetery. Through pedestrian surveying, magnetometry, and ground penetrating radar, Professor Russ and his five students hope to collect enough data to find out just how many bodies really are buried here at Boot Hill Cemetery. I, you know, I really like the research side of it and the understanding of the history of wherever you're at. This too it came, became interesting as we started to learn more and more about the area, uh, not just Billings history, Colson's history, but this whole valley's history. 1920s they came out, uh, sometime in the 50s, again in the 60s, uh, the 80s they came out and, and put new markers up. And so each time they did that, uh, the question becomes what were they basing what they were doing on before. Rust says it will take some time to analyze all the data, but he's anxious to see the results. There's probably about 150 here, and uh, estimates ranged anywhere from, you know, 50 to, you know, over 100. And so uh, I feel very comfortable with the uh, number of about 150 or so. Upon this rugged hill, the long trail past, these men of Restless will find rest at last. In Billings, Zoe Zandora, MTN News. So interesting. Thanks so much, Zoe. Now, Zoe says the data should be analyzed and finalized in the next couple of months. And you can check back uh, with KTVQ, kptvq.com, to see the results.